As nursing homes fret the vaccine distribution, only 14% say they'll mandate it for staff, and a survey finds 65% of nursing homes are operating at a loss. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020. To stay in the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Nursing home operators continue to worry about the timing and quantities of newly approved virus vaccines reaching them this week and next. But some of the fretting could be for naught. Less than 15% of respondents in a new McKnight's long-term care news survey say they will mandate that employees get vaccinated. The reasons are believed to be varied, including whether many staff may be legally compelled to get such a shot. When asked whether employees should be required to get vaccinated, the percentage saying yes shot up to 38%. In other findings, nearly three-fourths, 72%, said that government-supplied point-of-care tests are either great and being used, quote, as much as possible, or, quote, not great, but we're going to do the best we can with them. This is in stark contrast to recent government and academic findings that showed a huge percentage of operators were making sparse use of the units or not using them at all. Almost twice the percentage of owners and other top executives, 23%, said that the shots should be mandatory compared to 13% for each of the administrator and nurse manager subgroupings in the survey. It was conducted December 7th through the 12th and reflects responses from 313 nursing home owners, administrators, and top nurse managers who answered an email solicitation to take part. 90% of nursing home operators are currently operating at a loss or at a profit margin of less than 3% with almost two-thirds of them operating a loss, according to a new industry survey. Two-thirds of nursing homes also revealed that their facility or company won't make it another year at their current operating pace due to increased costs. The findings were released last Wednesday by the American Healthcare Association and National Center for Assisted Living, or ACA NCAL, in an effort to provide insight on nursing homes' financial and staffing challenges caused by the pandemic. Quote, Our nursing home providers are facing the worst financial crisis in the history of the industry due to increased costs related to the pandemic, testing, personal protective equipment, staffing, and chronic Medicaid underfunding, ACA NCAL President and CEO Mark Parkinson explained. Staffing also remains a top concern based on the survey findings. 58% of the respondents said additional staff pay and hiring new staff have been their biggest costs incurred because of the pandemic. Some 70% of respondents said they've hired additional staff, while 90% of the providers have needed current staff to work overtime and have provided hero pay. An ACA survey conducted in April found that more than 70% of providers were struggling to find adequate PPE for workers at the time. Parkinson in April also pleaded that nursing homes felt forgotten during the early days of the pandemic and desperately needed assistance to halt the spread. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and the best holiday season possible during these trying times.